Well, hello again. Welcome to Love, Jersey City. I'm going to have to stop repeating that same joke. Um, now, another banal topic, this time a comparison between Burma, um, Sri Lanka, and Mahanga Spinel that is actually in my stock as opposed to me showing you stuff that has not been listed or that I've borrowed. Um, so first of all, um, so we'll, we'll zoom in to this. And I was wondering if I should start with a little pop quiz, um, which is ask you uh, which of these Spinel are Mahenge and which of them are Burmese. Um, what you probably do know right away is that this one is neither. Um, it could be Tunduru, but the reason it, well, it isn't because it isn't, but it also has quite a bit of uh, gray overtones, which in this slightly overcast, otherwise perfect for filming weather, you can see. This is one of my largest stones. It's from a very old collection. If you like size, um, it will definitely perk up a lot in a setting. Um, and go great with grays or reds or um, purples um, but it isn't you know the most bright of colors although if this was Burmese well I don't know how much you'd spend 50,000 100,000 or it just doesn't exist so if we go to this little group here um, there's actually three Mahenga in here um, three Burmese and one outlier, which you would know, a uh, Vietnamese stone. Vietnamese and Burmese are also, that's just about the hardest to distinguish. You may be able to pick this one out. This is Mahenge because it see that orangey, peachy tint. Um, this one is one of my largest, still left over. It has that hairline inclusion, but it makes it a lot less expensive. And I think it's really not very easy to see. And then this pear shape that's been listed. Now, if I put them together and then I start to go to this much more um, neon, um, I would say Jedi spinel, and then over into the red section, I think you can see much more easily how different these really are. Um, and this kind of guy is, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Um, so those colors do come out of Vietnam. It's just not. Uh, very common at all. Um, in my opinion, this is sort of bordering on Jedi, but only because it has a little bit more red. And then this would be more the true Jedi. But as I've said many times before, I think this is very much a matter of opinion, so long as it's really bright, because it's not exactly a laboratory term. It's just a kind of fun name that people have given Spinel. And I think this one, I'm surprised it's still in my stock because it's underappreciated. I haven't had it recut because it's fairly flat and spready. So I think it would lose too much weight um, for such a pretty stone. And then these two, perfect round is also very rare. Um, spinel tends to be more oval in its uh, crystal form. So there's not a lot of rounds being cut. And then there's this little Vietnamese guy, which I love. 